Rub hemp makes 20 barrels of oil. Mm, no need for pesticides to poison all our soil. They got no food, they got no clothes, they got no rent. Way right now, it's time for hemp. Thank you for taking time for hemp. I'm your host, Casper Leach. On the program today, we have a fantastic guest. He's one of my heroes. He's written a fabulous book called The Last Free Man in America Meets the Synthetics Version. And his, his name is Gatewood Galbraith. And as this is the autobiography that he put together. Gatewood, I want to thank you for taking a moment of your life to talk to my audience. Uh, Casper Leach, uh, talk about heroes. It's a mutual feeling, brother. I've known uh, your efforts uh, in the, uh, the hemp and uh, the cannabis uh, effort for about now on to 20 years now and uh, I've, you've broken new ground and set uh, set some standards and I'm glad to see you back in action and uh, I visited your website the other day and was extremely impressed and I just I just want to tell you that uh, anybody who's listening to this has obviously already gone to that site but uh, they ought to tell all their friends about it because it is a, a very well done site that ought to educate a lot of people who need to be educated. Thank you for saying so, Gatewood. I, I, I mean, it means a lot coming coming from you. Well, I've been I've been out there, you know, at it for as you know since 1976, when I wrote the first uh, the uh, the plan for legal marijuana in Kentucky and the rest of the states, you know, where I uh, you know tried to set out who should who should be able to grow this plant for profit and why, you know, where it went over to the small farmers and uh, kept the big corporations out of it and got it out into the hands of the people who needed it and you know, revitalize the agrarian economy uh, in the, not only Kentucky, but a lot of other southern states. And, you know, as we worked on that, uh, became aware of, of hemp, cannabis as its cultivation for hemp. <clears throat> and, of course, uh, following our great leader, Jack Hare, and his, all his seminal work and effort, uh, one of the real geniuses of this past generation, by the way, uh, you know, once he uh, opened the door to all this knowledge and all the rest of the smart people started adding to it, well, we discover all of a sudden that uh, hemp uh, cannabis as an industrial textile crop is the answer to a tremendous number of things, in addition to cannabis as a medicine being the answer to the medical problems we have. So then, you know, we get down, we find a smoking gun and find the real reason why this plant, cannabis plant, is uh, illegalized, both in its medicinal and its uh, industrial textile properties. And that is not only is it the number one medicine on earth, and the pharmaceutical companies want to keep it illegal so they can have a monopoly on medicine. But it turns out that hemp is petroleum. That everything that you make out of petroleum, that you can make out of hemp. And, uh, you know, there's so many people never get it reduced to those, those, that simple phrase, and, and it boggles the mind when you think that everything that you make out of oil, everything that you make out of all these barrels of oil that we're spending $140 uh, per barrel on, is exactly what you get out of the hemp plant when you reduce it down to methanol. And so, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, when, when you find out this information in the pursuit of, of, of wanting to be informed about it, then all of a sudden you just become an activist, as you know. I mean, I know that you got filled with the same kind of outrage at the way that the, this plant was being vilified and the people who were associated with it were being criminalized, that you decided to put your own fate out there in the public and on the air and, try to get the truth out, and of course that's what we've been doing all these years, and uh, you know, it's nice to join forces with somebody. Uh, you can be in my foxhole anytime, Casper Leach, in this, in this battle over, uh, over uh, humankind's relationship with the natural cycle. You are listening to the Time for Hemp Global Broadcasting Network. Please share us with your friends. <laughs> 